744, let's get you started with some girls basketball. The OIA championship game is now set, and the reigning champs from Campbell, they're back in it. Take a look. 20 seconds, here's Vanzelina. Open lane, all the way, squares it at 45. Aliyah Bantelino, you just saw her right there. She scored 24 points to lead the Sabres past Moana Loa in two overtimes. And with that 57-55 victory, the Sabres are now looking to win their third straight OIA crown, but they're going to have to face these ladies. Out in front there was Courtney Smith, but she lost it. Here's Makana Kimeaina. Right in front, hold a kick to our... Kahuku rolled past Radford 66-37. Alyssa Holoketuai scored 15 points and was one of four Red Raiders to reach double digits. Championship match is Thursday, and according to Scoring Live, Kahuku has already won the OIA title nine times altogether. Hey, I know it's still winter, but the UH football team is already in spring practice. Spring ball started yesterday with the first of 15 practices. The Rainbow Warriors added four new coaches, including defensive coordinator Dennis Thurman and co-offensive coordinator Dan Morrison, who, by the way, worked with Colt Brennan and Timmy Chang as a quarterback's coach back in the early 2000s. Now that Chang is the head coach, he is looking to improve on last year's 5-8 and eight record. Now keep in mind, other schools don't start spring ball for another two months. It's all about scheduling and what you're trying to emphasize. And so we start school a lot earlier um, than other places in the country. Um, and so, and then spring break, you got to work around spring break. But I, I, the schedule allows us to have gotten three weeks in and then a four week uh, spring ball. And then we get nine weeks on the back end of, uh, of pure strength and, and, and speed training. Practices will run through February with a spring game set for the end of the month. Interesting story here. Russian figure skater Kamila Valieva has been slapped with a four-year suspension for doping. And because of that, Russia, or the Russian Olympic Committee, is now officially stripped of its gold medal in the team event from the 2022 Beijing Games. Valieva tested positive for the banned substance trimetazidine. And her team says it could have been a mix-up with her grandfather's heart medication. Uh -huh. Team USA took silver behind the Russians, you may recall, back in the 2022 games. We'll be right back.